Hello, it's X-Ray Bob here, and today we're going to go over the wave equation. And the wave equation is wavelength, as shown by lambda, equals velocity divided by frequency. Velocity shown by V, or sometimes referred to as the Greek character nu, uh, and frequency shown as F. All right, so when we're talking about a wave, uh, we've got an amplitude, which isn't going to come into these problems. We've got its wavelength, which is how big it is from peak to peak or trough to trough. And we've got its velocity, how quickly it's moving in space. So the light waves move towards us at 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Sound waves move slower. And waves in water move even slower yet. So here we've got our little bird. And the peak of this wave is going to be traveling to it at 2.5 meters per second. So we've got three uh, variables, so we can express it in three different formats. We can say velocity equals frequency times wavelength. By covering the triangle up, we see frequency times wavelength. We've got frequency equals velocity over wavelength. So if we cover this part of the triangle up, we get V over uh, lambda, or lambda equals velocity over frequency. So here we go to our first problem, but let's have a quick cameo. All right, Charlie, Ugh, say hi to everybody. Charlie wanted to say hi. Okay, back to the problem. All right, the velocity of ultrasound in tissue is 1540 meters per second. If a one megahertz transducer is used, what will be the wavelength of the ultrasound wave? Okay, so first we'll identify our givens, which is the velocity is given right in the problem as well as the frequency, which is a little trickier to see, but you see megahertz, you see hertz, you know frequency is always expressed in hertz or one over seconds. So what are we solving for? We're solving for wavelength. So we're going to do the math. To do that, we're going to have to know a formula. So we're solving for wavelength, so let's pick our formula. Wavelength equals velocity over frequency. That'll be the formula to use. So there we go. Wavelength equals velocity divided by frequency. 1540 meter seconds divided by 1 megahertz. And we go, what's a megahertz? Something that hurts a whole lot. Ah, ha, ha. Um, so a megahertz is 10 to the 6 hertz, or a million hertz, as shown by the numeric prefix charts that we know and love and memorized. So we're going to use 1,000. So we can put in 1,000 hertz in 1 megahertz. Megahertz will drop out, and hertz will be the units that we want there. So we've got 1540 meters per second divided by a million hertz. Did I say a million? A million hertz. All right, and a hertz is just one over a second or a per second, waves per second. So we can show it as one over seconds or seconds to the negative one. We can even drop that into our formula. So 1540 meters per second divided by a million per seconds means our seconds will drop out and we'll get our wavelength in meters, 0 0.00154 meters. Let's go back to our numeric prefixes and say, you know what, a millimeter, is, well, a 10 to the negative three or third meters is one millimeter, or a thousand millimeters in one meter. We can plug that in, a thousand millimeters per meter, and we can give our answer as 1.54 millimeters. And we can circle it and make it really obvious so whoever's grading this it doesn't have to go hunt for the answer. All right, so that's how to do these problems where you're given a uh, wavelength and a frequency. I'm sorry, you're given a velocity and a frequency, and you're solving for wavelength. In these problems, you can be given any two of the three variables. The good news is a lot of our problems are going to be electromagnetic energy, and the velocity is going to be the speed of light. And so you're only going to either solve for wavelength or solve for frequency, and the wave equation can now be written as wavelength equals speed of light divided by frequency. So wavelength equals speed of light divided by frequency. The speed of light is always going to equal the wavelength times the frequency, and if you're solving for frequency, it's going to be frequency equals the speed of light divided by wavelength. So, and you'll need to know the speed of light to solve these problems. And that number is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. So add that to the numbers you need to memorize. All right, another thing to notice in this equation is wavelength equals the speed of light divided by frequency, meaning wavelength and frequency are inversely proportional. What that means is as wavelength increases, frequency will decrease, and vice versa. As frequency increase, wavelength will decrease. 
All right, so here's problem two. A one Tesla MRI device operates at a radio frequency of 42 megahertz. What is the wavelength of this radiation? So we'll identify our givens. The frequency is 42 megahertz, and it's an RF wave, so it's an electromagnetic wave, so its velocity will equal the speed of light. And we're not going to use that one Tesla. I mean, that's how strong the magnet is, and that has nothing to do with the math required to calculate the wavelength. So that's just thrown in to mess you up. All right, so what are we going to solve for? We're going to solve for wavelength. So before we do the math, we need to know our equation. We go back here and we say, well, I'm solving for wavelength. So wavelength equals speed of light divided by frequency. I plug that in here. So speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second divided by 42 megahertz. And as we saw, a million hertz per in 1 megahertz. So I can convert my units to 42 million hertz. And that's the same as 42 million per second. And then I can multiply that out, and I will end up with 7.14 meters. And so that's a pretty big wavelength, and these RF waves have much larger wavelengths than our X-rays or our visible light. And we'll circle it, make it painfully obvious for even the least gifted teacher to see that's what we intend as our answer. All right, these two problems came straight out of Dr. Bouchong's workbook, so let's give him some credit. Um, and this is X-Ray Bob signing out. Woof, woof.